We are on the road for another daytime happy, Graham, and we are kicking things off here in downtown Jonesboro. We're here at Noel Seasonal Decor and Gifts Galore, where they put together something special for our recipient today. We've got Marissa here, and Marissa, thank you for being part of our happy, Graham. You are so welcome. It's so good to see you today. And you have done some shopping. You guys have so many different items, and I love the store. We always think about it at Christmas time, but during this time of year, too, you guys have so many yes, cute things. Absolutely, yes. We're so excited. Got lots of good things coming in. Um, Captain Rodney's good for barbecuing in the summer. All kinds of things to decorate your porch. All, all kinds of stuff. Good stuff. All right, and you put together a special little package. Tell me about some of the things you put in here. Yes, absolutely. So um, for the Happy Graham today, we have some beautiful chocolate truffles that are absolutely delicious, and we have made um, a wonderful spa basket. So we've got warmies, which we love. You can put them in the microwave or the freezer around your neck. So comfortable. Um, good organic lotion, soap. Um, and a little manicure set and also a devotional. So we're really excited to give this happy gram today. Wonderful, and it sounds like you guys had some fun putting this together. We really did, yes. It was so fun um, with the team as well. Miss April and Miss Marty are great and everybody that works in the store um, to put together something special. So we're excited. Well, you are really gonna make her day. Thank you so you much. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna hit the road. We have made our way just across town now here to Abounding Grace Baptist Church. We're here with Pastor Marty. We also have Ed and Karen from Herd Realty ready to do the presentation. We've got a great gift, but we want to start here, Pastor Marty. Tell me a little bit about our recipient today, Becky. You said she is just one of those people who's always going above and beyond. Oh, absolutely. She, she was an absolute blessing when the Lord sent her here and uh, just amazing how she was texting my wife about wanting to help with missions and I was telling my wife and that we needed missions here and uh, we we just live by that uh, that belief that church isn't within the four walls and we we want to go out into the community and and Becky is really never said no it's <laughs> everything that we've we've asked and every idea that we've had every ministry opportunity we've had um, she just dives right in and we have a lot of willing participants at the church that help cook meals or you know set up tables or take down tables or whatever and uh, it's just been an amazing opportunity for us to be able to reach out to our community and be the hands and feet of Jesus. And I know children so important to your ministry as well and helping through different programs and different schools and filling backpacks and she's always been there. Oh absolutely we, we have a back to school bash every year that uh, provides haircuts and backpacks and suit supplies and uh, we provide a meal for the for the kids before school. Uh, we help out with fish at Crockett. We feed some of the ball teams. Uh, she makes sure that the food pantry is stocked in Jonesboro once a month and uh, just amazing. Uh, and, and again, here we are on a Monday. It's her only day off and uh, and she's, uh, she's thinking that we're having a meeting uh, about uh, hopefully a new facility for, uh, where God is just helping us grow and and uh, so she doesn't realize that the meeting is actually about her. Um, she just thinks it's a, a meeting surprise! in general. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Yes. Well, hopefully it is a wonderful surprise. And Ed and Karen, I know honoring people in this way with this happy gram, something you guys really love to do. And it sounds like we have a really special lady today. Absolutely. She's a blessing for the community. Yeah, it's, you know, sometimes folks like this, um, they do all sorts of things and never get noticed. And they like it that way. They just, their love for Christ. But it is good when we can find somebody like this that really should be recognized. All right, and we've got our certificate here. And Noel Seasonal Decor and Gifts Galore put together a beautiful gift bag. So all kinds of spa stuff and chocolate. I hope she likes chocolate. I'm pretty sure she likes chocolate. And I hope she likes surprises. Uh, I don't know about that, but we're going to find out. All right, well, let's go make our surprise and award our daytime happy gram. Okay, we're here with Becky now after the surprise has maybe set in just a little bit and thank you first of all for what you do for the church and for the community as your pastor said he always talks about how we go outside the four walls and I know that's important to you. It is because I feel like that you know our mission is our community. We just want to make sure that we're doing everything that we can and if we're not out where the people need us, then we're really not being the church of Jesus. So we really want to make sure that we are reaching our 
our community because these are, these are our people. And being the hands and feet of Jesus is what we're called to do. And when we walked in, I couldn't help but notice, of course, lots of tears and lots of emotion. What was today like for you to be kind of honored in this way? Very humbling because I absolutely don't want to do it for a show of any kind. You're going to make me cry all over again. I just, (laughs) but no, it's just that I feel that it's my calling. I feel like that missions is is where I've been called to serve, and I just feel honored and blessed to be in a church that 100% supports me. You know, Marty will send me a text and he'll say, I need this to happen, and sometimes. Sometimes I wonder how we're going to make it happen, but, but God always has a plan, and he always works it out. Thank you for what you do for this community, for your church, and for everybody out there who's been touched by your generosity. You're more than welcome. I just, you know, just pray for us that we keep shining the light and be in the hands and feet of Jesus wherever we are. And if you know somebody that goes above and beyond, please send me a nomination. You can nominate them for a happy gram by sending me an email at alyn at wjhl.com.